Okay, here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back to Fast Forward Gaming. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. So this is Night of the Dead. Night of the Dead, Episode 5. Episode 5. So um, it looks like we are going over some character information, some um, points, actually. Um, and we'll see. I, I wasn't sure. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So let's get right into it. So music is going to go down still, but I did bring it up um, in the game. That way I can hear it a bit better. Um, like and subscribe if you guys um, haven't. And let's, um, let's get right into this episode. So it looks like we are going, yep, we're going to get a little bit of bushes here and there, blueberries. I believe we're going to get some logs too, maybe. Um, and then we are going to go yeah, continue grabbing some of that. And we got some repair kits and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, grab some logs, some oranges. Yeah, those oranges are actually very good. They're very good. They're very nice because they are, um, they give you a little bit of health. Just that little bit, that way it can get you right up nice and topped off, um, towards the end, you know. Um, rocks and stuff like that, obviously good limestone, stone, small stone, uh, large stone, all that good stuff so we can make some, um, some concrete and some cement and stuff like that, which is great. Um, I do, I believe I do need a whole bunch of vine and stuff like that, that way we can start making some brick. Um, cause definitely we need some brick so we can update or upgrade all of our uh, foundations, which is fantastic, you know. There you go, we got some brick going. Oh yeah, our inventory is becoming a very big problem. I think in this episode we do get more, um, or we upgrade stuff. Um, I, I we might, I think, I, I, don't, I can't remember, but let's, uh, let's get right into it. We are going to upgrade the, the, the floors. Um, that way they won't catch on fire. The, the actual the the zombies or the creatures that come out monsters, I guess them um, they do they they're not there yet, but I think they're coming soon. Um, so they can catch everything on fire. So we have to definitely get prepared for that. Okay. Um, inventory management. And of course, it is a survival game, so we do gotta take care of that inventory management. Uh, pretty quick, pretty good, and pretty decent. Um, grab some. It looks like sub machine gun ammo because that's what we're carrying around. Oh yeah. That book, um, we are trying to get that book. I forgot which one's the pause button. Is that the pause? Yeah, okay, sweet. I got the pause button. Um, sprinter and stuff like that. All the good stuff, good resources. Um, I think we have, oh, we only got 30 of them. 30 research data, which is not too much. Um, usually I think they start off at 25, but most of the smaller ones I think we pretty much have, besides, uh, like the fishing that looks like the guard and stuff like that. So, We'll get there. We'll get there. I think um, grabbing some food. I think I'm gonna put some stuff away. Cook some meals and stuff like that. Excuse me. Burp a little bit. All right. And okay, we got ourselves some repair kits, which is fantastic. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some looting. It looks like we're just gonna go into some houses, take care of some stuff. And you know, I wasn't aware that with the cars and, the, and every kind of every car, you can loot it and you can also take it apart. Um, of course you do need a wrench, but right, there you go. Uh, you need a wrench for a lot of things just to take them apart Actually, just to take them apart not to actually loot them. I wasn't aware of that at the time playing the game. So um, Yeah, that's just a pretty good uh, good tip to know or to have um, I was looking at the different types of, uh, of Drinks and stuff like that. There's blood rotten. So it does give negative um, Health and stuff like that, which is obviously not good. Um, but I think it does give some positive stuff. I'll, I'll try to pause it if we uh, if we come uh, come at it again, so we can take a look at it a little bit closer. Yeah. So in this house, most of the stuff it is um, it is wrenchable, which is good. It could give us, I think, electrical devices and, and stuff like that. We'll, we'll I think we'll get into it. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. We got ourselves a nice, good um, or a better. It was not nice good, but it, it, it kind of is nice good or a better um, Hatchet that way we can cut down some trees think a bit Wicker on oh, no, other pretty much the same, but we can actually um, It does come with like coils and stuff like that, which I'm not sure exactly how that actually goes um, There's some basic stuff here that we're getting inside the bookcases everything pretty much everything else that's in this house needs a wrench so um I believe I decided to go and get a wrench somewhere around here. Taking a good, nice, good screenshot. Oh no! First, I'm trying to get my um my inventory nice and full before I go back to base. Um, that's usually what I like to do. Uh, I don't really like to go back to base when I'm not pretty much full. You know, um, I feel like that's a, that's a not a productive um looting experience or looting uh, routine. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. So grab some rocks and stuff like that. Some stone. Um, so we can go back with a good decent amount of inventory inside, which is fantastic. <clears throat> so, 
Um, hidden some rocks, hidden some rocks, hidden some rocks. I mean, that's just, you just can't have enough, you know? You just, you just can't have enough. So, um, we're just gonna keep on keeping doing that. Uh, we're gonna run our own back, and I think right now, I'm thinking to myself, we need to try to see if we can make a wrench. Um, because everything that we are trying to get needs a wrench. Um, and I wasn't sure exactly how the wrench works, but, um, here we go. So, we do make it in the, this guy right here. There we go, the equipment bench. I believe you do need to unlock it with the uh, research data. So, um, yeah, I'm um, trying to put some stuff away. That way we can go a little bit lighter when we go out. And we will definitely go from there. Um, I, yeah, uh, inventory management, inventory management. That's that's just the way it goes, huh? Um, putting stuff where you need it and then basically moving on from there. So, <clears throat> we're going to go back to this house here. And I do want to use the wrench as best as much as I can. Um, that way we can get them resources that when you see, look at that, look at that, boom. It just takes it apart. That's sweet. That wasn't here the last uh, the last update, which is uh, fantastic. You get, this one you got some fuses. Oh, I got some fuses, nails, and plastic. Great. Um, refrigerator there, just a few, um, few basic stuff. Here we go, iron plates, two of them. Bunch of nails and stuff like that, which is great. We got off of that. Um, and, and nails, there you go, nails, iron plates, and more nails, and plastic, which is all basic resources, but it's good to have. Um, well, well, we're out here. Oh, we got some copper wire in that previous one, which is great. Plastic, nails, all that good stuff. That's fantastic. Um, oh, I hate these. These call in the other zombies. Um, they're pretty easy to kill. Two shots, good to go. Um, as we update our bow, it'll probably be one shot, and then good to go. So here, I think this is the first car that we take apart. Um, iron plates. We got two iron plates. Uh, for that one, iron plates and some rubber, I believe. Uh, rubber. Look at that. Oh, so we got a frame. I'm not sure exactly what all that what that is used for. I think it's to make a car or something like that. But we'll we'll definitely take a look at that once we get a bit closer. So, um, I, I think I'm trying to get into this house here. Uh, once we get a little bit, once we kill these zombies, which are pretty simple with the bow. Um, aim for the face. <laughs> aim for the face, and then we'll go right inside here. That bow is is fantastic. <clears throat> it's great. I, I like the bow. Um, I like the crossbow a little bit better, a bit stronger, and I think it's quicker as you update or upgrade as you update it. There you go. Um, okay, so yeah, a whole bunch of ammo and stuff like that. We'll have those ammo crates right there on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and yeah, a bunch of basic stuff. So that last one, ah, it didn't go in. Um, did it show? No, it did. It's like a water cooling thing. It did show that. That's what I think what we need for a motorcycle. Um, I think that's the main thing. I think that's a good thing to actually work to next. Which, um, yeah, well, yeah, we'll try to get to it. So, right now we're trying to go around, trying to do some loot and stuff like that. Trying to get as much stuff as I can from cars before I go back to um, to the base. And then in this next in this apartment. We're about to go in there again once more um, and try to get as much as we can off of the loot. Zombies aren't, they're not really a problem. Um, yeah, they're not really a problem, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, which is pretty good. Um, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. Good thing we got that wrench. Good thing we made that wrench. That wrench is really um, giving us a, a good extra kick with the, with the loot, you know, which is fantastic. <clears throat> So it is the basic stuff, but um, it's basic. It, it helps us. It helps us in the long run, you know. Um, okay, um, a whole bunch of so there is all these drinks and stuff. Um, I think they're all pretty much rotten. Um, there you go. So it's all oh, fire resistance. Okay, I didn't. Sweet, but hit points is negative and energy is negative. But you get a hundred percent fire resistance, so we can walk into fire. Nice, sweet. That's fantastic. So the other stuff must have different types of buffers as well. Um, yeah, I gotta take a look at that while we're in game. <laughs> uh, while I'm playing the game, you know, and then I'll let you guys know about it. So, um, okay, here we go. Um, just going through this house, just you know, doing as much as I can, trying to get rid of some stuff and try to just basically loot. Um, trying to find some of those books that are in the research uh, table, but you can't get them anywhere else but the bookshelves or you know, looting and stuff like that. So that's why, um, you know, going out and looting is a very big thing um, to do. So, um, yeah, cars and cars, you copper wires, iron plates. Um, it is getting close to uh, sunset. That way we're, um, we're about to head back. So all of that, 
like all the coils and the skill information and all that well mainly the coils like i'm not sure exactly how that works i need to um i need to research some of that because last season i had no idea what i was doing with all that stuff which is which is a problem because i'm trying to be here i'm trying to educate you guys just a little bit as much as i can um with the game <clears throat> this game is fantastic it's, it's, it's nice it's fun um, in my opinion, um, so I'm um, trying to put some stuff away, doing stuff like that. I believe I'm trying to make another trap. Um, yeah, so I just made, I believe, a gear, and then the trap uh, machine. Oh yeah, yeah, and um, we need to fix that. That's a good touch right there. You need you need the wrench to actually fix stuff, which is uh, which is great. I mean, you can't really fix everything with hands, you know. You're gonna need some kind of tool. Um, so I'm looking there to see which kind of. Uh, there you go. Which t other type of trap I want to make? <clears throat> so, I'm gonna head up there, and I put, oh yeah, the spikes. I do put spikes down. Yeah, it's great. Yep, it slows them down. I put them put them there for a reason. It slows the zombies down, and it um, and then the top one, the oh, I forgot the name. Treble, it's not a trebuchet. It's the um, there you go, the pendulum. Pendulum just strikes them out, which is great. Uh, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm trying to update the pendulum right here. That way I don't gotta worry about um, reloading it. <clears throat> because I mean, if you guys are not aware, um, I do have electricity up and running. I got that windmill and I got a battery. And with that, you can actually just let the pendulum do itself as long as you got power. There you go. Now I do. You do need to hook it up, and then you need to hook it up a certain way so it can basically daisy chain off of the um, the pusher, which I have them connected to each other. And then in the next episode, um, I already I already made it, but I do kind of. Well, I, you guys will find out. <laughs> I don't I don't hook it up that I don't hook it up as correctly as it should be, but um, that's mm, for the next one. <laughs> Anyways, um, so going around trying to search for some stuff um I, I actually i think i have a pretty big problem with um with the um, with the inventory with the not inventory with storage with storage and of course with the inventory we cannot have too much inventory but um yeah storage is becoming a big 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 problem so we're gonna have to see into the near future to update some uh, storage boxes but um, at this time we are getting ready to do the um the horde night or the night the night horde they go i just call it night horde um rabbit skins bones grabbing all the small stuff out over here make sure you have seeds that way you can reload them and i think i'm trying to see if i can make a bird nest there we go birdhouse birdhouse um i think so why not i mean we're gonna need the feathers we're gonna need um i think it, it gives you eggs as well so um that is good to know um birdhouse Put it right here, plop it down. I think to reload it, I believe you'd need a branch and seeds, or it might just be seeds. Um, but you do need stuff like that to reload the, um, the birdhouse. That way you can continue getting eggs and feathers. And I think birds actually land on there so you can shoot them, but I haven't actually done that yet. So here, for the next, um, uh, tr um, for the next, for the quest, for the mission, so you know, for the, the next, for that, it's, um, it's but it's believe it's telling us to make um armor <clears throat> for the next there you go oh, there, i didn't get it <laughs> there you go survival notes there you go survival notes. so make armor in the equipment workbench but we need aluminum i believe that way we can um actually make better armor or make armor at all i mean we don't have any at all so yeah um we are short on that and i'm not sure exactly where to get it in this new update i mean last season i don't think we needed any aluminum or anything like that but um but yeah uh as of right now we did update or upgrade yeah upgrade the, um, the knife because i use that a lot for the bushes and the the not the pickaxe but the hatchet that way and um, i can get trees a bit quicker um and i think those upgrades go all the way up to 10 so yeah um, i'm not sure if there's another type of um hatchet or oh my god fire axe uh, there you go fire axe to beat the one that i have um we'll see just gonna have to see um okay so um right here i'm just grabbing a little bit of last minute loot that way we will be ready and prepared for the horde night unfortunately um inventory is actually being scarce um i thought and i hoped that all those stones and stuff will stay on the ground that way i can come back here drop off some stuff and then go right back but um i think they disappeared um i think i mean it did take me a little bit while 
because I am putting down a little bit more light so you guys can see a little bit better at night. Um, yeah, I think I put it right down there. Yeah, there you go. A little more light, which is fantastic. I am going to have to get a bigger platform because I do like to fight on the platform. I mean, I jump on and off. <clears throat> jump on and off the platform, which is um, not too shabby, not too shabby. So, okay. Um, where are we headed? Oh, yeah, bushes. Oh, that is very important. Uh, vines go into uh, make branches. Um, so, I just grab a whole bunch of them. I guess the branches or the, the farm that I put down was not enough. Um, and I did go back. Um, the stones were not there. The ones that I hit on the stone. The ones that I hit the stone and I couldn't pick up because the inventory was full. Um, the ones that were on the floor, they were not there. So, yeah, they disappeared pretty quick. Um, yeah, so um, at this moment, yeah, we're just getting ready for Hornet at, at this moment. I'm trying to see um, about this inventory, trying to put stuff away. Um kind of organized but it, it's it's kind of hard because um the inventory is pretty it's, i'm starting to get a lot of stuff so we're gonna have to expand our inventory pretty soon um but i don't not in this episode um i don't think in this episode no 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 because um the horde the night is coming the night horde is coming so it should be almost there um a little bit under two minutes so uh, i keep on looking through the research table because i do want to i, I want to get more stuff you know <laughs> so I think I do get that the junior blacksmith so I can make monotiles which is um it's good um it's gonna help us a lot with the um the hordes um and, and we can get our stuff on fire which is fantastic I mean I think we can actually get our workbenches on fire and the first level of um storages can catch on fire I believe because it would um but don't quote me on that <clears throat> so I'm trying to see or trying to figure out why well, I got 14 more research left, um, which they go pretty quick, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. And I think so that bottle. So I think we're pretty close in getting the off road motorcycle. So that'll get us to places a lot quicker, which is fantastic. <laughs> Obviously, um, I got some fuel and stuff like that. Just well, whenever we do want to actually go, and it's pretty easy to get, actually. Um, okay, yeah, I was thinking of uh, updating the compressor. I said don't have enough um, enough um, time, uh, obviously, in, in the night because the horde's coming. And we are just about one minute left. So, um, yeah, just trying to clear up here and there stuff all around us. So we, that way we can um, basically get basically our inventory, I guess, full. <laughs> and I, I thought I heard a, one of those screaming... Or, oh no, a wolf. I did hear a wolf actually um, at first, and then I ran back and then came back, and he was right there. So, yeah. Um, okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's just uh, get ready for that horde. Um, putting stuff away, trying to see about my inventory. I do gotta figure out how to actually, well, if there's a way to actually click one button and have everything go in. So, yeah, th that's the end of this one. So, if you guys uh, liked it, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. So, wherever you guys at, you guys have a good day, good evening, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.